What's new in Smart Notebook 11? This video will discuss the Activity Builder. The Activity Builder is a great way to create your own interactive lesson. Let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is create an activity. The example shown is recycling that can be done in a classroom on a daily basis. There are six objects placed for the students to determine whether or not they can be recycled. On the far right side is our recycling bin. The objective for the students is to drag the items that can be recycled into the recycling bin. If that is a correct item, the item will then disappear into the recycling bin. If it is an incorrect recycling item, it will be returned to its original place. After I have all of my objects on the screen, the next thing I like to do before I get started is to take a look at the individual images. Starting with the milk carton, notice when it is drug over top of the recycle bin, it has that white square. So I take my graphics one at a time, select them in the drop down menu, select set picture transparency, and then using my eyedropper, select locations around the object so that the white square will no longer appear. And I do this for each of my graphics before I get started. The next thing I do before creating the activity is I take all of my objects and I lock them so that they are allowed to move. This way I don't have to worry about any issues with the students when they click on the object allowing them rotations and changing the sizes. So by clicking on it and locking and allowing to move. The shortcut for locking all of your items at once is to select them all, go to a drop down, go to locking, and do allow to move. If you like the shortcut keys, the second way to do this would be to select all of your items, press the control, the shift, and the V. This allows the students to interact with your objects and move them without making any changes. Let's get started creating our activity builder. To get started, we need to click on the add-ons tab, which looks like the puzzle, and we'll select activity builder. Our first step is to select the object we want to be the activity object. That is our recycling bin. And now we will choose edit. The first thing we will do is drag our objects that will be accepted to the box. Our water bottle, select it and drag it over to the box and let it go. Our soda can, you can drag it to the box and let it go our newspaper, and our milk carton. The next step would be to drag the objects that are to be rejected. Or the shortcut would be to select Add All Remaining. When we do Add All Remaining, you'll notice we also get the title of the activity. We don't want the title of the activity to be sorted, so we'll grab a hold of it and drag it to the trash can. Now that we have our objects accepted and rejected, we need to take a look at the settings. Currently, when our object is accepted, its animation is fade out. Select the drop down and you can choose from fade out, fly out, snap to center, or spin. If your object has sound, make sure to select the box that says to play the object sound. When your object is rejected, the animation is a bounce back. Your choices in this menu are bounce back and none. Again, if your object has sound, be sure to fill in the box. Now click done. Our activity is now ready to begin and we can see how it works. Let's take a look. Students come to the smart board and select the items that can be recycled on a daily basis. Selecting the milk carton, drag it to the recycling bin, and it fades away. 
selecting the newspapers, dragging it to the recycle bin, and it fades away. Should a student choose the chair and drag it to the recycling bin, it will bounce back because that is an incorrect answer. We'll test the rest to make sure they work. The soda can and the water bottle. And finally, our student. It's now your turn to try to create an activity builder from the add-ons tab in the new SmartBoard Notebook 11 software.